Hello, everybody. So, last night, I saw Carrie Underwood during the Cry Pretty Tour. During, I mean, at the Cry Pretty Tour. Now, I bought the tickets well over a year ago. And I never thought the day would come. And it finally came. And unfortunately, it went. I could go back if I could. Now, a little backstory. Um, emphasize. I bought, uh, yes, I did buy the tickets last year when they, obviously, uh, it was during the pre-sale for the fan club. Um, and I, I, it was a pain just to get to the tickets because the internet was being a pain in the butt. I bought the tickets while I was at work, okay? Don't judge. And I finally got through to Ticketmaster, and at first, they offered me, um, what section? I think it was 101. And then they offer, and then I was like, oh, let's try something out. See if I can get something better. And I did. General admission. Yes. I was on the floor. Literally. Because, oh, it was so good. Uh, we did Metro, which is, a, which is strange because I've never done that before. Kind of crazy. I didn't really like it that much. It's quite the experience, though. Um, and honestly, the openers, Runaway June and Maddie Tay, they were pretty dang good. I, I was wearing, uh, of course, Cry Pretty March. If you look up on Carrie's website, I believe it's called a Ringer. It's a white shirt with black, with a black collar and short short sleeve you know and uh, I was wearing that and I waved at one of the one of the runaway June members and she's like I like your shirt and I was like oh oh so I got noticed by not one but two of the members they were pretty good I liked them it's not very often that you know, you really get to see a successful trio in country music as far as females go. Which is quite a shame because females in country music are better than men. But well, that's another conversation for another day. Uh, then uh, Maddie and Tay came on and they were pretty dang good. One thing I noticed is that, I, you know, whenever I'm bored, I like to Google search. I found out that, uh, Tay, I believe, uh, actually has the same birthday and birth year as me. So, Team Virgo, BB. Oh my gosh, that was pretty odd. Awesome. That's a pretty fun fact, for me at least. So, and funny, uh, I bought the tickets when I was 22. I just turned 24 a couple weeks ago. So I went through three different ages just to go see Karen Dolan's. <laughs> this is my third time seeing her, and third time's a charm. Just kidding. Each time was a charm. I saw her during the Blown Away tour back in 2012. Blown Away! Storyteller, that was a show. That was a show. If you never saw it, you missed out. Of course, I've seen her on the Cry Pretty tour, which... Ooh! The set list to me, and I made a video about that a couple months ago. Uh, set list, no changes. Was so happy about that because I thought it was perfect. Yeah, just a dream. I've never heard that song live. I've always wanted to hear that one live. See you again, which is something I can relate to very much. That I was so sad about, you know, because she didn't perform it on the Blown Away tour when I went, and she didn't do it on the Storytellers tour either. But she did it on this one. I was like. Girlfriend, you take this off the set list. We just going to have problems. And she never took it off. And I'm so glad that she did not. Because it is such a beautiful song. There's just light. Uh, phones lighting up all over the arena. And just, oh, it's beautiful. So beautiful. And I was so looking forward to end up with you. and Because it, it, it's my favorite, my favorite song on the album. And I loved it.
I did. She was representing my brand. Unfortunately, uh, the cameraman was in my way through a good chunk of the uh, of the song, but nonetheless, I, I enjoyed it, especially the yeah when she just slapped them bongos, drums, whatever. Uh, it's just like when she had a the banged on the drums during the uh, church bells song. At the storyteller tour, and she did the guitar on church bells this time, and oh my god! Ah! Now see when she was doing the set list, I'm pretty sure she wanted to. I'm sure she wanted to throw some storyteller in there, you know, because it was her last album, and I'm glad she picked church bells because I think out of all the songs of the album, at least singles wise. That one stuck. Like, how? So I'm glad I got to witness that song not once, but twice. Oh, and I, of course I got down to Southbound. I slapped to that one very hard. But when she did the uh, Women of Country medley, I, I, of course I knew, I knew the set list well before. Yeah, duh. And when she did Man, I Feel Like a Woman, I was like, Oh my god. Because Shania is my girl. I grew up listening to her since I, I... I've listened to her since I was like three or four years old. And I was just like... Not only did I see this song being performed by Shania herself, but also by Carrie Underwood, Runaway Jude, and Maddie and Tay. So I was like... Okay! I am here for that. Oh, just... Oh my god. I loved the throwback medleys, you know, I Know You Won't, uh, Temporary Home, See You Again, Just a Dream, oh, flat, oh my god, Final Floor. Oh, so good. Oh my gosh, so good. And when I got there, I was at the barricade, I was like, I am staying right there. And I pretty much stayed there the whole show, and she came to my side pretty often, you know? Not like she stuck to one side of the stage, just stayed there. You know, there are certain points in the show where, you know, she you couldn't see her, you know, because the stage is, like, that high. And you, it was like, oh, well, darn. But at least she had the screens on both sides to where you can see her. But, and I got some seriously good shots from the show last night. And then during my, uh, during my time at the show, my iPod was like, oh no, you are running long storage. We cannot take any more pictures for you. So I was like, okay, well, you know, I took some good pictures anyway. So I just suck this thing in my pocket and enjoy the rest of the show. And I did. Loved it so much. 10 out of 10. No, 100 out of 10. A million out of 10. Would recommend. And I kept screaming, Entertainer of the Year. Why? Because she deserves it. Why she not win that uh, when she was on the Storyteller Tour? I don't know. If she does not win this, this time around, CMAs, we are going to have a problem. Now, I don't have a specific favorite part of the show. But um, one moment uh, was the champion when she brought out the the um, guy to perform Ludacris's part. I was like, "Oh, he is good." And I love and I love how she does that every show. You know, just what she does is with the of course because Ludacris can't obviously be there all the time. She brings out uh, members of the audience. You know, she chooses one member out of the audience. Uh, from a story of who's their champion and why. And if she likes it so much, then she picks them. And they're like, hell yeah. Now, the bummer part is I entered for a meet and greet and I lost. But oh well. She's going to tour again. Well, I don't know. But the next time I'm going to attempt it. I'm going to try it again. But overall, it was my third time seeing her. I could go to a million more of her shows, but unfortunately, I do have a work schedule that is a little bit more demanding than I would like for it to be. 
But nonetheless, I seriously enjoyed my time. And the post concert depression is a pretty much pretty much there. Oh, and one thing I did not notice, or one thing I did not know, is the ringer shirt I was talking about. You know, the black hawk. Um, like I said, you'd have to look it up on our website. And uh, when the show was going on, when she had the purple lights, not only was my general admission bracelet glowing, but the shirt was too. The pink writing on it, it was glowing. I was like, I didn't know we could do that. Because I bought the merchandise back in Mar uh, May. I bought three shirts. Funny enough, they're all the same picture. The picture's so damn good, you just have to... Oh, the, the picture of her on the shirt is like, it's so damn good. I had to buy three of them. Why? Because I'm that bitch. But overall, such a good time. Carrie, thank you for a wonderful night. Beautiful show. Entertainer of the year in my book. And I will see you again. See what I did there? Because she has a song called See You Again. Her initials are C-U. No. I tried.